What is going on guys? So today I got a super quick video and it is how to set CS2 to 144 hertz or more. Basically how to increase the refresh rate depending on what your monitor can handle. Now I want to just mention one thing before you start watching this video is that YouTube caps at 60 hertz or 60 FPS. So no matter what I change in this video, you're not going to notice a difference. But when you go in and change it yourself, if your monitor is capable of handling it, you'll notice a clear difference in the game like I had my monitor that was 144 Hertz but I set it up and then when I launched the game it was still set to 60 Hertz and I was like what the heck like nothing feels different and then I changed it to 144 and it feels like a world different so very quick how to change it go press escape go to the top left hand corner of your keyboard or keyboard of your menu here and click settings menu and then it's under the video tab it is under the refresh rate so this will show you what your monitor is capable of the last setting being the full capability of it but all of them should be 60 hertz capable so at the bare minimum you'll be able to do 59 hertz i'm not really sure why it's one less but maybe that's because of rounding i'm not exactly sure but what this means is that like let's say if i set it to 143 hertz um the monitor is going to play CS2 at 144 FPS if the graphics card can handle it. So in the top left-hand corner, you'll see my FPS right now, 150, 160. Um, it'll be playing that at my monitor at 144. So like, if you have a 60 hertz monitor, at most you'll be able to see 60 FPS. You can get like 150 FPS in CS and that's great because that helps you get like less input lag, but it doesn't change what your viewing experience is. You're only viewing 60 FPS. That's what the hertz means, it's the refresh rate. So the frames per second, you know, they tie together. Um, like right now, I get 170, 180 FPS because my graphics card can just pump out more and I don't have V-Sync on because this is an FPS game. But like if this was a racing game, I would lock it at 144 FPS and, you know, just sync it up with my monitor. I think with that, V-Sync will delay it by one frame, like your inputs, which is not ideal for a first-person shooter because everything counts, but for like a racing game, it's better for the experience. No frame tearing, it, like perfect experience, you know. But yeah, you know, that's a ramble. Hopefully that explanation helps on what the refresh rate is, what it means. And yeah, drop a comment if you have any. I respond to comments, so just drop a question in there. And uh, yeah, drop a like if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.